Located 1,200 miles north of E1's operations in Ocala, Florida, as our dedicated 75,000 square foot stainless steel manufacturing plant in Hamburg, New York. A suburb of Buffalo, we're only 30 minutes from Niagara Falls. So if you'd like to take advantage of all the Buffalo Niagara region has to offer when you visit, you may want to bring your passport. While infamous for our winters, our summers are hot and both spring and fall are very pleasant. Those harsh winters though produce road conditions that accelerate vehicle corrosion. It is out of that situation that our stainless steel product is born. For customers who likewise have to deal with high corrosion environments, our product provides the perfect solution. Work on fire apparatus began in Hamburg, New York in the 1970s, providing fire departments with collision repair, maintenance, and full remanufacturing services. In the 1980s, we produced our first Class A pumper. Constructed a 304L stainless steel, this vehicle is still in frontline service today, with its original body structure and paint in outstanding condition. The long service and condition of vehicles built in Hamburg, New York are a true testimony to E1 stainless steel products today. Over the next two decades, over 1,000 stainless steel fire trucks were built in Hamburg, New York. Hardly a configuration has not been designed and built here. Early product innovations include brake formed 304L stainless steel designs and a patented FRP overlay that completely eliminated paint and corrosion issues. In 2010, the Hamper Group became part of E1 and relaunched these high quality stainless steel products. Now, with a hand-picked group of highly experienced industry professionals, E1 offers the high quality stainless steel fire apparatus that customers have come to expect from the team in Hamburg, New York. The process of building custom stainless steel fire trucks begins with engineering. Optional pre-construction meeting with our engineers can be held in Ocala, Florida or Hamburg, New York. We utilize the best video conferencing equipment available for the highest quality communication. We then use 3D CAD models to design each custom stainless steel body and pump module. These ensure proper component fit up and overall quality. Records of these designs are readily available, reducing out of service time if replacement parts are ever needed. Production begins in our fabrication department. We start with 3D designs from engineering, which are unfolded to produce a cut list, defining the material, thickness, length, and width for each part. We stock over 20 different materials, including different gauges of 304L stainless steel, aluminum tread plate, and smooth aluminum. There are many grades of stainless steel, but not all provide thorough corrosion resistance. E1 uses type 304L marine grade stainless steel. The L designates its low carbon content, which allows this metal to maintain its high corrosion resistance even when welded. Using the cut list, the Fab1 operator selects the specified material and loads it into the shear. The operator then programs the specified size into the machine and cuts the sheet of metal to size. The cut part is validated as square and dimensionally correct to ensure proper fit up later in the process. This part is then marked with the truck number and its unique part number. In the Fab2 cell, CAD designs are called up by truck and part number. The cut parts from Fab1 are loaded into the punch, which has a 32 station tool turret. We have over 90 different size and shape tools available to produce every needed hole, notch, and cutout. Most screw holes, cutouts for lights, pipes, and wires are all punched. This reduces drilling and cutting during the assembly process, saving time and improving the overall quality of our product. Fab 3 is the press brick. Here flat parts are formed, or bent, to give them depth, strength, and structure. Those same 3D CAD designs are again utilized to determine the bend angles and required tools. The computer program provides the operator with the specific tool and bend sequence for each part, while automatically adjusting the back gauge between bends. All bend angles and dimensions are again verified to ensure proper fit up later. These three fabrication steps produce the panels for our unitized form body, panels and channels for our pump module, and all the other fabricated components needed to assemble the truck. Unlike frame and panel construction, we use brake form panels as the basis of our unitized body design, which provides high strength while reducing overall vehicle weight. Each bend adds strength to the panel. It is often rumored that stainless steel is a brittle metal and prone to cracking. The reality is that out of all the metals used in vehicle construction, stainless steel has the highest modulus of elasticity. This strip is 12 gauge 304L stainless steel. After 40 bends, rather than crack, it is very hot. Notice how water evaporates when applied. Construction of the unitized body starts on two adjustable racks. The driver's side of the body is laid out on one rack and the officer's side on the other. 
The brake form panels are then clamped together and overall dimensions are again verified. The unitized body structure is seen here and is made from 12 gauge 304L stainless steel for strength. Notice that a brake form panel makes up the floor, which is welded to another brake form panel making up the wall, another for the ceiling, back wall, and adjacent compartment wall. Adjoining compartment walls share a single sheet of metal, reducing overall vehicle weight. This unitized body design provides larger usable compartment space within a shorter wheelbase. Brake form panels are then welded together, forming a unitized body hat. These halves are then moved to the tracks for completion of the unitized body module. These racks and tracks are all leveled and squared regularly. The support structure of the unitized body is constructed of 7 gauge 304L stainless steel tubes for even more strength. These heavy duty members maintain body alignment and prevent twisting of the body or tank mount structure. This body support structure is mounted to the chassis frame rails using a double flex mounting system at four points. Similar to the bodies, our pump module enclosures are constructed of 12 gauge 304L stainless steel. Brake form panels are laid out on a rack, dimensions are all verified, and each piece is MIG welded together. The finished enclosure is put on a cart and moved to one of our three pump module build bays. Aluminum shelves, trays, steps, running boards, and dividers are all TIG welded to produce an aesthetically pleasing weld. Our manufactured in-house 304L stainless steel doors are also prepared in this area before going to paint. Fabricated parts are placed on carts that are sorted by truck number and assembly line cell. Painted stainless steel bodies are sent to the paint shop before going onto the assembly line. Our paint booth is large enough to fit a completed aerial unit. It is a down draft paint booth and we mostly spray base coat clear coat or two base coats followed by three clear coats. The painted components are then baked to 160 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 minutes. We have the same paint system as our facilities in Ocala, Florida to ensure that the cab and body paint matches. E1 stainless steel product also offers an optional patented FRP process as an alternative to a painted body. The process consists of fiberglass reinforced panels that are pre-designed, painted, and overlaid onto the truck body. This reduces manufacturing time resulting in a lower vehicle price. FRP provides an automotive paint finish that enables quick, low-cost repairs if the surface is ever damaged. We have three assembly lines at Hamburg, two pumper lines and one rescue line. Each cell has an A-frame cart with tools on one side and supplies on the other. These carts have all the tools and supplies needed to perform the tasks in that cell. In assembly cell one, the body compartments are first given a uniform sanded finish. Stainless steel compartments are left unpainted, providing a durable and bright compartment interior. These stainless steel interiors reflect light rather than absorb it as a painted compartment would. This compartment finish won't chip and damage such as scratches are restored with a Scotch-Brite pad. Our compartment interiors are uniformly brighter and can be cleaned and restored easily without out of service time. Assembly cell one also sees the initial assembly of the exterior of the body. FRP overlays are applied here, as well as rear chevron graphics, lights, folding steps, handrails, and aluminum tread plate trim. Aluminum parts are always isolated from stainless steel components to prevent the dissimilar metals from reacting to each other. In assembly cell two, the body module is wired and the multiplex electrical system is tested before it is mounted on the chassis. In assembly cell three, roll-up doors or our fabricated and painted stainless steel doors are installed. Shelves and trays are also installed and all the final trim for the completed body module ready to be loaded on the chassis. Stainless steel pump modules are bay built in one of three bays. In the first half of each bay, the water pump is put on its permanent frame rail saddles. The pump is then put on a cart that mimics the chassis frame rails. Manifolds and initial plumbing are then started on the pump. In the other half of the bay, the fabricated pump enclosure is prepped with gauge panels, valve controls, and initial wiring. The pump enclosure is then lifted up and placed over the pump. The balance of the pump module is then assembled, and like the body module, the electrical systems are tested before this module is loaded on the chassis. The completed pump module can then be moved to final assembly, where it is loaded on the chassis followed by the body module from the assembly line. The body module is mounted to the chassis frame rails using a double flex mounting system, which allows up and down movement of the body 
creating a smoother ride and reducing stress on the main body structure. The water tank is then installed, and final assembly is completed. Post-production includes a complete QA process, including a road test, weights, pump and electrical load tests, and full inspection. Pump testing is done on-site, and we have two 20,000 gallon water tanks underground to draft and return to. For NFPA compliant trucks, tests are witnessed by underwriters laboratories. In addition to our main structures, many other features are also made from 304L stainless steel including hose wells, wheel well liners, and brushed stainless steel rub rails. Not only will these components never corrode, but they are designed to absorb energy and protect the main body structure in the event of a collision. They are also designed to be replaced quickly and easily if damaged, reducing out-of-service repair time. In our hose beds, cross lays, and hose wells, we use a product called Duradec, which provides a non-corrosive, UV-stabilized, lightweight, durable, and easy-to-remove decking. It also provides superior hose drainage and ventilation. It is very easy to clean, extends the life of our customer's hose, and reduces vehicle dampness. In our fabricated steps, we utilize a product called Busted, which has an aggressive tread design. This provides foot grip while allowing snow and debris to fall through the grating, preventing accidents even in heavy rain, snow, and ice. Finally, the completed truck is detailed and moved to our customer inspection bay. We've created a comfortable customer lounge for their inspections, including complimentary drinks, TV, and internet access. As is the case at all E1 facilities, we are fully engaged in our ISO 9001 certified quality management system and our lean manufacturing production system to ensure our continued focus on customer satisfaction, safety, and quality. E1 stainless steel products come with a 20-year structural warranty, 10-year non-prorated paint warranty, and a 12-year non-prorated paint warranty on our FRP products. The E1 team in Hamburg welcomes you to bring your customers for a personal tour. Seeing our high-quality product and world-class facility in person can't be beat.